dear students i am dr k kannan professor mechanical engineering anjalai ammal mahalingam engineering college koyilbanni i am happy to meet you again uh, through this video lecture series on the subject heat and mass transfer uh, today it is lecture number 108 on the conduction heat transfer and we are going to discuss on the topic steady state heat transfer with the heat generation uh, we recap from the previous lectures so earlier uh, we discuss and solved problems on steady state heat transfer in a slab without heat generation now we are going to consider the heat generation within the slab the learning outcome for this lecture at the end of this lecture the student will be able to solve problems in a slab with the heat generation so the one dimensional steady state heat transfer in a slab with the heat generation this is the general heat conduction equation for a slab in cartesian coordinate system uh, for a three dimensional slab now we simplify this equation for the present situation this is one dimensional steady state heat transfer in a slab with the heat generation so one dimensional so we drop the temperature gradient terms in other two directions y direction and the z direction steady state heat transfer we drop the temperature i mean temperature variation with respect to time so now the equation is dou square t by dou x square plus q dot by k equal to 0 or d square t by dx square plus q dot by k equal to 0 where q dot is the heat generation rate volume per, per unit volume so q dot equal to heat generation rate per unit volume and k is thermal conductivity so both q dot and k they are constants now the temperature is varying with respect to uh, x alone and we consider a slab to solve the problem to find out the temperature distribution of the heat transfer we consider a slab of uh, length l so we measure the length from the center at, at the center x equal to 0 on the right hand side x equal to l by 2 and the left hand side x equal to minus l by 2 and the wall temperatures are uh, tw1 on the left hand side and tw2 on the right hand side the boundary conditions are the temperature t equal to tw1 at x equal to minus l by 2 and temperature t equal to tw2 at x equal to l by 2 now the governing equation is d square t by dx square plus q dot by k equal to 0 and the boundary conditions are uh, t equal to tw at x equal to minus l by 2 and t equal to tw2 at x equal to l by 2. So we have to solve the uh, problem, solve the equation within the boundary conditions. Now integrating the equation d square t by dx square plus q dot by k equal to 0 rearranging d square t by dx square equal to minus q dot by k integrating first time dt by dx equal to minus q dot by k into x plus c1 and integrating again t equal to minus q dot by k x square by 2 plus c1 x plus c2 now we have uh, two constants in this equation uh, we require two boundary conditions and already we have the boundary conditions and uh, applying this boundary condition substituting the boundary conditions we will get tw1 equal to minus q dot by 2k into l square by 4 plus plus c1 into minus l by 2 plus c2 and tw2 using the second boundary condition tw2 equal to minus q dot by 2k l square by 4 plus c1 into l by 2 plus c2. So solving the two equations you can find out uh, c1 and c2. So the values of the constant c1 equal to tw2 minus tw1 divided by l and the c2 equal to q dot l square by 8k plus tw1 plus tw2 divided by 2. Now you have to substitute the constants in the temperature equation. So this is the temperature equation. You have to substitute the value here and find out the temperature profile. So temperature T equal to minus q dot by k into x square by 2 plus c1x plus c2 substituting for c1. So minus q dot x square by 2k tw2 minus tw1 divided by l into x plus q dot l square by 8k plus tw1 plus tw2 divided by 2. Simplifying this equation, 
you will get t equal to q dot l square by 8k multiplied by 1 minus 2x by l whole square plus tw2 minus tw1 into x by l plus tw1 plus tw2 divided by 2. So, this is the temperature profile for two different temperatures on two surfaces. Tw1 is the wall temperature on the left hand side, Tw2 is the wall temperature on the right hand side. Then if Tw1 equal to Tw2 equal to Tw, then in this equation, so the second term will become 0 and uh, this Tw2 plus Tw1 divided by 2 equal to Tw. So, the temperature profile, temperature will be Q dot L square by 8K multiplied by 1 minus 2X by L full square plus Tw. So, this is the temperature profile when the wall temperatures are equal, surface temperatures at the sur temperature of the surface are equal to Tw. And if we find the temperature center x equal to 0, the center temperature at x equal to 0. So, substituting x equal to 0 will get TO equal to Q dot L square by 8K plus Tw. And look at this diagram. So, this is the third diagram. You look at the third diagram Tw1 equal to Tw2 and uh, we will get the temperature profile like this. So, here this is the temperature To, temperature the center is the maximum and the temperature is decreasing in both sides. So, temperature heat is flowing from the center towards the surface. So, that is why the temperature profile we have arrogant in both directions. So, the heat is generated within the slab at a uniform rate uh, of Q dot and the heat is flowing towards the outer wall. So, that is what the situation here. Now, when the Tw1 is less than Tw2, so left side surface temperature is lower, right side surface temperature is higher. So, what will happen to the peak temperature? The peak temperature is shifted towards the right side. So, because, uh, actually again, this is the heat flow. So, from the here, from here, the heat is more heat is flowing this side and here this is the heat transfer. And when Tw1 is greater than Tw2 and the the temperature profile is shifted to the peak point is shifted towards the left side. So, temperature profile uh, depending on the wall temperature. So, here it is the most ideal situation, the center temperature is maximum and uh, you will have the heat transfer, equal heat transfer on both sides. So, this is what the temperature Tw1 is less than Tw2 and Tw1 is greater than Tw2. So, this conclusion, so the Temperature profile when the wall temperatures are equal, this is important and the center temperature when the wall temperature is equal, this is also important. And the rate of heat transfer you have to calculate. So, Q equal to minus Ka into dt by dx at x equal to L by 2. Either minus L by 2 or plus L by 2. So, we take L by 2 and we calculate temperature is given. So, temperature is given for equal wall temperature. Temperature is given as Q dot L square by 8K into 1 minus 2X by L whole square uh, plus Tw differentiating this equation uh, dt by dx equal to q dot L square by 8k 1 differentiating constant minus sign is there 4, 4 divided by L square differentiating x square it will be 2x. So, at x equal to L by 2 substituting q dot by L square minus 4 into 2 into L by 2 divided by L square simplifying dt by dx at x equal to L by 2 equal to minus q dot L by 2k. And substituting the value, heat transfer equal to Q equal to minus Ka into minus Q dot L divided by 2K, uh, simplifying Q equal to Q dot AL divided by 2. So, A into L, A is the surface area, L is the uh, thickness of the slab, AL equal to the volume of the slab and divided by 2 is the half of the volume. So, Q dot is the volume flow rate, heat flow, heat generated uh, within the solid per unit volume and this AL by 2 is the half of the volume. So, the physical meaning of this graph, this equation, so whatever the amount of heat generated in the slab, 50 percent goes to the right side and 50 percent goes to the left side when the wall temperatures are equal. That is what the physical meaning. So, Q, Q heat transfer rate Q dot into AL divided by 2 where AL divided by 2 uh, is the half of the volume of the slab. So, as, as shown in the diagram, when the surface is exposed to convective situation, so uh, the kind of both sides are exposed to convective situation where T infinity is the temperature of the fluid, H is the heat transfer coefficient, then the energy balance, heat conducted to the outer wall is equal to heat conducted to the fluid. So, minus Ka dt by dx equal to HA into uh, 
TW minus T infinity, uh, which is Q dot AL by 2 equal to HA into TW minus T infinity. So, A is getting cancelled. So, finally, TW equal to T infinity plus Q dot L divided by 2 by. So, this is again an important equation here. So, TW, this equation is important. The heat transfer is important. The center temperature is important and temperature profile is important. Now, to understand the concept clearly, uh, we solve few problems. The first problem, the rate of heat generation in a slab of thickness 160 mm with thermal conductivity 180 watts per meter Kelvin is 1.2 to 10 power 6 watts per meter cube. With the temperature of each surface of the solid is 120 degrees Celsius, determine the temperature at the mid plane, quarter plane, heat flow rate and temperature gradient at the mid plane. And the given data are thickness of the slab L equal to uh, 0.16 meter, K equal to 180 watts per meter Kelvin and the heat generated is 1.2 to 10 power 6 watts per meter cube and the wall temperature is given as 120 degree Celsius. And temperature at the mid plane where x equal to 0. So, you take the equation TO equal to Q dot L square by 8K plus TW uh, just substituting the values 1.2 to 10 power 6 into 0.16 square divided by 8 into 180 equal plus 120 equal to 141.3 degree Celsius. Temperature at the quarter plane x equal to L by 4 which is 0 0.16 divided by 4 equal to 0 0.04. So, T equal to Q dot L square by 8K into 1 minus 2X by L whole square plus TW. So, substituting the value is 1.2 to 10 power 6 uh, into 0 0.16 square divided by 8 into 180 multiplied by 1 minus 2 into 0 0.04 divided by uh, 0.16 to the power 2 plus 120 which is equal to 136 degree Celsius. And the heat flow rate equal to Q equal to Q dot A into L, which is 1.2 into 10 power 6 into 1 into 0.16 divided by 2, which is 96,000 watts. And the temperature gradient at the mid plane dt by dx equal to 0 and x equal to 0. The answers for the problem, temperature at the mid plane equal to 141.3 degree Celsius. Temperature at the quarter plane is 136 degree Celsius. Heat flow rate is 96,000 watts and temperature gradient at the mid plane equal to 0. We take another numerical example. A plane wall 10, million, 10 centimeter thick generates heat at the rate of 4 into 10 power 4 watts per meter cube. When electric current is passed through it, the convective heat transfer coefficient between, the each, between each face of the wall and the ambient air is 50 watts per meter square Kelvin. Thermal conductivity of the wall is 15 watts per meter Kelvin. Derive the, derive the temperature profile for the given slab. Determine the surface temperature and maximum temperature in the wall. So, this is from the university question paper, May 2016. And the given data, thickness of the slab equal to 0 0.1 meter. Thermal conductivity is 15 watts per meter Kelvin. Heat transfer coefficient is 50 watts per meter square Kelvin. And the amount of heat generated rate is 4 into 10 power 4 watts per meter cube. And the, for the first question, you refer to the previous slides. So, the derivation of the temperature profile for the given slab, you can refer to the previous uh, graph, previous uh, derivation and you can write it down. And surface temperature, Tw equal to T infinity plus Q dot L by 2H equal to 30 plus 4 into 10 power 4 into 0 0.1 divided by 2 into 50 equal to 70 degree Celsius. And maximum temperature, it will occur at the center x equal to 0. So, TO equal to Q dot L square by 8K plus TW. So, TO equal to 4 into 10 power 4 into 0 0.1 square divided by 8 into 15 uh, plus 70 equal to 73.3 degree Celsius. And the answers for the problem, surface temperature equal to 70 degree Celsius and the maximum temperature in the wall equal to at the center 73.33 degree Celsius. So, these are all the reference books I used for the preparation. And you can refer to it for further information. And this is the book published by me. Uh, you can use it for additional problems on the same topic. And if you have any doubt, you can write to my mail ID. I will sincerely answer to all your queries. So, thank you very much. We will meet again.